Hi guys, welcome back to the Curl Factory. It's Raquel. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about some of the products that I will be using in autumn as well as in winter as well. It's already autumn in South Africa and I'm slowly starting to use these products, preparing my hair for winter. My wash day does change a little bit in terms of the products that I use. The technique stays almost the same. I do like to protective style during winter, so I like to bulk fill my videos for washing goes and reviews. During the winter, I do take some time off from filming and I do keep my hair in protective styles that work for me. But before we get into this video on some of the products I'm going to be using in autumn as well as winter, you know what to do. Join the notification gang, subscribe, follow me on Instagram as well as on Facebook. It's no secret that I love to shampoo my hair, but during the colder months, I do lean more towards co-washing. One of my favorite co-washes is from Aunt Jackie's and it's from the Flaxseed line. I'll put a picture to show you what I'm talking about. But in the times that we're living in, and I've been saying this for over a year, I haven't been buying a lot of products. So I'm going to share with you what I have in my hair stash and I'm going to be using what's in my hair stash. I'm not going to go out and buy any products unless the products I show you get finished. So even though the Aunt Jackie's um, co-wash is one of my favorites, I don't have it. So now in autumn, moving into winter, I'm not going to be using it because I'm not going to be buying any products. So what co-washes do I have in my hair stash that I will be using? So I have this one from Girl Boss. It's not new to me. I've been using it for a while. This is the Girl Boss Natural Hair Co-Wash. It promises soft and moisturized hair. It contains mango and marula as well as vitamin E. So this is brand new. Haven't opened it, so it's going to last me a while. Another co-wash that I'll be switching in between the two, I've used this and I do have a video on the Kera Key Curl Essence line. So you can check out that video if you want to know more about this co-wash. I'll be using the moisturizing co-wash with Jamaican black castor oil as well as coconut oil and it's for natural hair types 3 and 4. So when it comes to cleansing my hair, I will be using these two co-washes. I will also be clarifying as well. I'm not showing you the clarifying shampoo because I'm kind of just showing you what I'll be using like on most weeks, I will clarify once a month. Let's move on to deep conditioning. These are the two deep conditioners that I have. This one from As I Am is almost finished. This one I'm halfway through, but I do have another full um, deep conditioner from Inbu. So from As I Am, this is the Hydration Elation. It's moisture based, it's the colder months. We do wanna add a lot of moisture into our hair while it's very cold, autumn, preparing your hair for winter as well. I do think one correction I am going to make from what I said earlier is I might buy one more of these. I don't want to buy any products, but this one is almost finished. The reason I might buy one more of these is because this one from Inbu, and I stand corrected, I do think it contains protein. This is more of a protein and moisture leaving conditioner. And because it contains protein, I don't want to get protein overload. I do want to still have one that is just fully moisture based. So this is the Imbu Curl Restoring Intensive Mask. It's vegan and cruelty free. Both of these are Curly Girl approved. And this is suitable for all hair types. It promises to condition, replenish and strengthen. So strengthening gives me a clue that it contains some protein in here but I do as I said have a full one and this one is half done it's what I have in my hair stash I might pay a lot of attention to my hair if I'm using this like two or three weeks in a row and just watch that protein and moisture balance you know but I will I think I will just go out and buy one more to keep that protein and moisture balance Apple cider vinegar, I will definitely be using this as I use it throughout the year to be honest. This one is almost finished and I do have another one. I don't know if you guys can see. 
Um, I purchased these at Dischem at Clix. This one isn't um, unrefined. I like to use the raw um, unrefined one, but this one is almost done. And so I do do apple cider rinses throughout the year and I will continue during winter, autumn and winter. A leaving conditioner I stocked up on the as I am when I see them I buy them so I'm good I think for three to four months um, I have I think three of these in my hair stash that I bought um, rather let me not say I didn't buy them actually they were bought for me let me be a hundred percent transparent about that because i'm really watching myself when it comes to buying products they were rather bought for me i didn't pay for them but i was with the person so that's why i'm saying i bought it but i didn't pay for it so this is the as i am classic leaving conditioner it's a favorite even though it's liquidy most of you would think i'd be leaning more to thicker ones during the winter time but this works fine for me, gives me the moisture that I need. So I'll be using this leaving conditioner consistently. A step I do like to add during autumn and winter and also in the mornings when I'm refreshing my hair is I do use curl activators. Now when it comes to curl activators, a lot of them also contain protein. So again, be very careful. I understand the protein and moisture balance. I understand my hair so I can watch out for signs. I do run master classes on the protein and moisture balance. So when I am running those courses, just check out my social media and you can more you are more than welcome to join. Obviously there's a fee, but just check that out. I do like to I use curl activators as a moisture barrier because even though they contain a little bit of protein for me they hold a lot of moisture so i like to have the shea moisture coconut and hibiscus curl enhancing smoothie it contains silk protein and neem oil it promises to moisturize and define your curls it's for thick curly hair so i like to put this like as a barrier before any styler and it's also nice and thick it lasts a long time and it does hold some moisture for me the other one that i like again if this is too thick for you add a little bit of water to dilute it this is from cantu it's the cantu shea butter for natural hair moisturizing curl activator cream these two i like to use during the colder months and i think both of them are curly girl approved as well for protective styling i like to use butters during the colder months and i do have a video on South African butters. These are both local South African products and I will apply either one depending on the one that I choose to use in the wash day. And I like to just two strand twist my hair and leave it twisted for the week. Wash day comes around, I do the whole process again, add a little bit of butter and twist my hair. This one that I have is not new to you if you're on my channel. This is the Girl Boss defining butter for natural hair it contains mango and marula and also vitamin e as well i can also open out the twists on using both butters and rock a bit of a twist out as well if i like and then this one is from call me Cole friend it's the main child it's a hydrating and mending butter so i think this one i got for free a while ago this is brand new i haven't opened it or used it yet so when it comes to my protective styles and what am i going to use for my protective styles in terms of a styler i go for butters during the colder months it's my go-to it's a wrap guys these are products i'll be using in autumn and winter only one product i am gonna go out and buy which would be the as i am hydration elation but i am set on using what i have in my hair stash um using it finishing it and you know the seasons are changing so i'm just showing you guys what i will be using off camera as always thank you so much for watching and subscribing and being part of the notification gang and seeing you guys on instagram and seeing you guys on facebook as well take care